Hello, this is Dr. Oviedo. Today I'm going to review clinical characteristics of COVID-19, including radiology. I'm going to do that by reviewing a paper which was published on February 28, 2020 in the New England Journal of Medicine. This was a descriptive study. We all know COVID-19 emerged in Wuhan City December 2019. This study looked at 1,099 patients with laboratory confirmed COVID-19 from all parts of China. These 1,099 patients were taken out of a total of 7,736 hospitalized patients. All of these are hospitalized patients. The laboratory test used was RT-PCR, which stands for Reverse Transcriptase Polymerase Chain Reaction, or sequencing of nasal and pharyngeal swabs. This is basically when you put a very long cotton tip swab into the back of the nose or the throat. You then take material from that swab and subject it to the laboratory studies, which can tell you if there are sequences from the coronavirus in that sample. The median age of these patients was 47 years old. 42% were female, 58% were male. This study was done by medical record review of patients from December 11, 2019 to January 29, 2020. The most common symptoms were fever. 44% of patients had fever on admission and 89% during hospitalization. 68% of patients had cough. Uncommon symptoms were nausea and vomiting in 5% and diarrhea in 3.8%. 23.7% of patients had a coexisting illness such as hypertension or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This paper had CT scans of patients in the appendix of the paper if you would like to look at them yourself. 56.4% of patients had ground glass opacities on CT scan of the chest on admission. So what are ground glass opacities? Let's take a look at the CT scans they included in their paper. Here is the CT scan. The way we are looking at this, you can imagine if a patient is lying on their back and you're standing at their feet and they're kind of transparent, and this area here would be the chest. This here is the chest wall with the ribs. This in the center is the heart, and back here is the vertebral column. These darker areas here and here are the lungs. The ground glass opacities are these white puffy regions. There is one right here, another one right here, and another one right here. In this setting, these white puffy regions correspond to areas of inflammation. Down here is a more severe CT scan. This one has the ground glass opacities. You can see there's white puffy regions here. However, this is much more severe. In addition, this more severe CT scan also has consolidation. Consolidation is a word we use when there are more solid areas of involvement, and these generally correspond to pneumonia in this setting. Right here, this darker white area represents an area of consolidation. Consolidation means solid. The normal lung is very spongy, just like a kitchen sponge. When it becomes very diseased, it becomes much more solid. The word consolidation was originally used when referring to autopsies. However, it is also used in radiology to refer to a more serious area of involvement. Here on the right, I've shown a photograph from the COVID-19 pneumonia, which was shown in a published autopsy from Lancet Respiratory Medicine. I have reviewed that slide in a separate video. The outcomes of these 1,099 patients are 5% were admitted to the intensive care unit. 2.3% required invasive mechanical ventilation. 1.5% of them died. I encourage you to read this paper yourself. You will see that it has a lot more details about clinical characteristics of these patients. In addition, in the appendix of this paper, these authors reviewed SARS-CoV-2, which is COVID-19, and SARS-CoV, which was a coronavirus episode which occurred in Hong Kong and Toronto in 2003. They also reviewed MERS, which occurred in Saudi Arabia in 2012. SARS-CoV-2, SARS-CoV, and MERS-CoV are all coronaviruses. 
they also compare these to seasonal influenza, which is caused by an influenza virus and is a different family of viruses with different behaviors and different characteristics. This particular chart refers to H1N1 after 2009. There was, of course, a fair amount of H1N1 in 2009. You can review this yourself. However, I just want to point out one line in this table. You can see right here the overall fatality rate of these different types of diseases ranges from 1.4 to 2.1 percent for COVID-19, 9.6 percent for SARS, 40 percent for MERS, and between 1 to 23 per 100,000 for H1N1. Okay, I encourage you to read and learn more about COVID-19.